Ladies and gentlemen, happy Tuesday night. Welcome back to Dalar Swelik Tactics. In this video, we're going to go over this week in Eternal Evolution. Basically, on Tuesday nights, I will kind of rehash what's been going on in our game. Just a just a friendly discussion. I'm going to sip on a nice, cool adult beverage, and we're going to have just a nice little talk about the state of the game and what transpired during the last week in Eternal Evolution. Now, usually, the patch goes live. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Normally we get the patch notes on Wednesday, but we did them yesterday on Monday night. And that is because the devs are now, after at, officially now, on holiday until the 19th of February. So what they did with the update that went live this morning that you downloaded is they've front-loaded everything that's going to be into the game up until the 5th, up, up into and including the 15th of February. As such, we're going to have some things to talk about. So let's just go right over. Let's just dive right into it. And let's discuss. So, uh, the majority of you uh, probably know, and if you do not know, given the fact that they front-loaded all of the updates that are coming up into it, including the 15th, they did accidentally, or I don't think it was an accident. I just think that they don't really care. But they did put in the new hero although i can't see it on this page it was right here huh well that is weird okay well let's see if we can find it the other way so on my on my main account on my phone i do have access to how he looks now i wonder i wonder 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 if if we do this and find him the sneaky way if that will populate him in into my gallery so let's go to wish list what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Rakana. Oh, no. Don't do that. We're going to click this little magnifying glass. So then we're going to go over until we get to the triple S win for your heroes. There we go. Leo, you bought a... Barag, Rhyzeris, Sorvali, Teresh, Fiona, Sif, Arcadia, and now here goes. Okay. So, they've already put this guy in the game, uh, including his entire kit. We have access to everything that we want, basically. I could almost do a deep dive on this character now, uh, except for having gameplay. So, his name is Viserys. He is a hunter. He is a front line. He is going to be the tank for your hunter team. And his kit is actually quite interesting. So, I'm going to have a separate video out. I'm going to record it tonight, but I'm not going to have it up until tomorrow. Since normally I would do patch notes tomorrow, I don't really have anything I can do. So, I am going to have this uploaded first thing in the morning. My, basically my semi sneak peek slash deep dive into Viserys. Vaz Vazeris. 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 Yes. Yes. Let's leave. 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 Okay. Now I'm curious if he's going to populate in my gallery now. So let's just see. Uh, when fear. No. Well, that's really, 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 really weird because I do have access to him. I can see him right here on my main account uh, on my iOS. So this is an, uh, an, an Android emulator. I don't know if that has to do anything with it, but yeah, he is in the game right now. All of his his files are in the game. Everything that, that would be coming out up into and including the 15th is in the game already. Now, also with it launching a day earlier, we got uh, the only thing that was technically live from the patch notes as of this morning was the new, not the astral rebate, it was the Hero Evolution event and the new hero Heimdall. Now... You guys have seen this before. This came around with Artemis. You do see that they do have the new prototype right there, which is pretty insane for Vanguards. This is going to be a third slot, basically healing type prototype for Vanguards. You guys know the deal, though. I can make a whole separate rant video on uh, what I think of SP characters. I did purchase Caraxia uh, at a limited cost, <laughs> reduced cost. Uh, and then I, I haven't gone for Artemis at all. I've been uh, completely farming her basically free to play uh, other than yeah Basically free to play I've been farming Artemis and I only have three and a half copies of her now This is a little bit uh, misleading because they go from the one copy to two copies and then they skip the third copy altogether You can't see it on here to get to red one or this mythic Star that's actually four copies. So in order, you know, it's it's it, it's kind of shady because they make you think that one, two, three, oh, I just gotta get three copies of Heimdall and I get the prototype. No. No, you you need four. 
So keep in mind that uh, it, the cost is still roughly the same. It's about $300 per copy from pulling astrals. Now, you know, you do get, you know, you get the option to purchase more astrals, although I don't think this is a really that good of a deal. Red runes are pretty plentiful in the game now. I don't know who's buying this, but you can use your astrals and pull, but you're going to need to spend roughly uh, $1,200-ish. There are ways you can mitigate that cost using like Aptoid and then buying the astral coupons from their store that is not in-game. So you can cut down the cost about 25%. But uh, just for, for layman's math, it's going to roughly cost you about 1200 US dollars to get these up to this point and to get his, uh, his uh, prototype. Now, I will admit, this video is quite excellent. Like, I want this guy so bad, so bad, but definitely not $1,200 bad or uh, $3,000 bad. Nope, nope, nope. It is really unfortunate. My only hope is... You can see that there, if you get this, you're basically getting a free copy of Artemis, which is unfortunate because the generally the people that are going to wail out or cracking out on this, I would call this a Kraken Fest. Those people are already likely to have Artemis already maxed, and these are just going to be translated into dismissal coins, which is really unfortunate for them. <coughs> I think I'm coming. I think I'm getting sick. I'm like waking up with a sore throat, like a really like raspy, fiery throat. And uh, my coughing is all back. So this guy, Heimdall, and this event are the only things currently live in-game that were uh, patched in yesterday or this morning. Now, we already know what's coming. You guys can go check out my patch notes video. Most of the updates, or the vast majority of the content that's going to be coming with the update is, is actually going to be coming on Thursday. So it's going to unlock on Thursday you can see if we go to the uh, Matoko banner it is exactly 32 hours you got 32 hours until the other content goes live and it's already been preloaded you're not gonna have to download a patch you're not gonna have to do that on the on the 15th either it's just going to unlock because they've already added it to the game with this last patch so that being said that's kind of like the uh the future in a way that's not really discussing the week that was so let's discuss the week that was so we got the collab event still ongoing we have like i said 32 hours left until this half is done uh so if this is your like you're literally you know you have tonight and tomorrow it's your last chance to get matoko and batu but on thursday morning you're gonna wake up and you will have the pure and tachikoma banner so if you've been saving, now is your time. I don't think I've done this Calamity Boss once. No, I have not done it once on any of the, or not on this account, the streaming account. Uh, you can see that I am seventh here. I don't go for it every day. So what I do is if we look at the like overall leaderboard, I'm fourth. You know, that's a decent score, 35.8 million, right? That's a decent score. So what I do is I make sure that I, I, I place and then tomorrow I might attempt it again for real. I might shuffle all my gear around and go for it, but otherwise I'm totally content with getting fourth on this phase of the site boss and because I'm only missing out on three collab tickets, which is nothing. Three gene hybrid shards, which is meaning f meaningless really or, or non-significant. Um, 400 or not 400, 40 of these purple tokens, but I'm not a big deal in my opinion. And then only three um, of these, which would be tempering materials. So, you know, getting fourth versus first, you know, you're getting less, but it's not, you know, a significant amount less. Look at that. I still haven't collected all these things. So what am I, the biggest thing I'm missing out on is 40 of those purple tickets, which would probably, I would get the Maserati copy. You know, a lot of people are saying get the keys first. Now, if you've been playing this every day, you should have enough. You should be able to get the Maserati copy and both of the keys. And then you can just pick what you want. I've actually been buying the Katoji and Triangle tickets with my leftover tickets. And then with the blue ones, I've been purchasing, you know, all of these, right? Because I did get the Gene Hybrid from the Matoko chip shop, which remember, we do have a chip shop for this version. I don't know why I'm not on max screen. There we go. Uh, we do have a chip shop for this one, a chip exchange. So I do have this pro gene hybrid from the Matoko banner, and I'm trying to get enough uh, tickets without spending money on the battle passes to get another gene hybrid on the Purin banner, which I should be able to do, right? I don't want to miss out on those gene hybrids, and neither do you. 
So this guy's in game the astral mirror the SP the new SP Heimdall character if you guys didn't know you can switch it So you're not locked in as you see look at I got none of them on this account You know zero is 60, you know I don't think I've pulled any astrals on this because I don't play hell arena on this account uh, But yes, he is in the game and you can switch it out if you want say Artemis or whatever But of the three I would say that this guy does seem the most powerful out of all of them so, collab event is coming to the midway point. This guy's in game. Uh, take, we are uh, halfway through his banner, so he's up for another week after this, but we are missing out on the Mirror of Reformation. So, if you guys haven't gotten your Masrani crystals, then you better get on it. I did get the 130. I think the first 30 was at 30 out of 80. But I'm not going to be able to get this. Not on this account. I don't have enough limiteds on this account. So this Mirror of Reformation is gone in 32 hours. Don't forget Galactic Bounty is still ongoing. You still have many, many days. You see I am nowhere near completed on this account. I'm going to try to get it on this account. But there are five days. You can't see because it it's underneath my noggin. But there are five days and eight hours left. And you, have, you can pick three of these a day. So you have plenty of time. Still, you can get, what, one, two, three, four, five. If you haven't even started, if you just start today, you can select three and you can still get every mission. So you can basically have not played it for a week and still be able to complete it. And this is free stuff. You should really go for this. Ten, soul, ten stamina. Yes, that's good. Fifteen tickets. Very, very good. Even the advance is very, very good because we're going to have a hero rally coming up here in two days. So that's ongoing. You have a little bit of time on that. Gamuzo's bell is going bye bye. Just remember, uh, where are we here? We'll go to the thing. Uh, somehow I got lucky on both of my accounts and I got the Maserani crystal. But do keep in mind that you cannot carry over these gears. You have to spend them. The only way there is a, there is technically a way, and, and to do that you can't claim them. So what I mean by that is, if you were going to go into details gathering. If you actually get these unlocked and you just leave it so it still says you haven't collected it yet, if you don't touch it, the gears will go to your mailbox. So they will credit you the gears. If you don't actually click collect, uh, they will credit you your gears. They will go to the mailbox and they will stay in the mailbox. And then after the event is over, you can bring them into your mailbox and then you can hoard them for the next one. So there is a way to hoard these for the Gamuzo's Bell, but it's a little bit more risky. A little bit more risky. So Gamuzo's Bell is done. Takes Banner is halfway through. We're going to get the Purin and Tachikoma Banner in 32 hours. The Matoko and Batu are going away. And that's about it for here. Now, the big, big, big uh, new piece of content that launched this week that we have to discuss is the... Solo Expedition, or as it's actually called, the Exotic Expedition. Now, Exotic Expedition, I still need to push it on this account. Uh, it still, it does reset on Sundays and Thursdays. So, you see on here, they did fix it. Uh, because as of, I do believe, yesterday morning, this actually said three days. So, it looked, or three days? No, it actually said six days. So, it was a visual bug that it looks like they've fixed. I think they must have done a little mini patch and they fixed this and the um, they fixed it so that you can't see the new hunter in the gallery, which is understandable. Um, I haven't tried this, but this is an excellent game mode in my opinion. You know, it, it's getting, some people are going to say that it's getting repetitive because you know, you basically, you, you go till the offense phase is over, which is 32 hours in this case, and then you get basically shuffled back three uh, stages again if they were fixing this timer they should have fixed this it shouldn't say week it should say stage but they basically will push you back and you got to make progressions you got to learn from your mistakes that you made in the first couple rounds or first couple iterations of you trying to get through this and keep pushing so then if you want to get past it you know maybe you want to bring in a different hero for the next offensive phase and try something different like I've heard people using Dan instead of Nord as a frontliner in here just to c help control the, the summoner team, which is a good idea. I've heard of people bringing in Sif against uh, Pandemonium because Gobo will run up there and, and face tank him, and he will kill Gobo, but then he'll kind of get tied up on the pebbles. So it gives you your your unit a little bit of ch chance to survive. Plus, you're doing probably more damage 
then you would get getting, well, maybe not in order, but Leo, but, you know, Sif's a pretty good damage healer. So you can, it's nice, it's, it offers you an ability just to keep tweaking your account and to do it over and over and over again or, and get better. But the problem is, is that, and I've said this when I first reviewed this game mode, is that it's too long. It's, it's two months long. It shouldn't be two months long. It should be two weeks long. I understand why they're doing it is because they want to kind of like FOMO you into getting these heroes. Like they want you to FOMO go get Artemis. They want you to FOMO go get Take, uh, Samael, although there's no way to get Samael right now, but definitely Take at Artemis. They want you to feel the pressure due to this ranking system because the rewards are really good, uh, but they're trying to pressure you into, as you see, I'm first on this one by a lar large margin, which is surprising. You know, I do have some good people on my server. But they're trying to FOMO you because this is 16 shards. So you get 32 shards and a bunch of dust, or 320 dust, if you get first. And, you know, it is still decent. If, even if you get, like, fifth, you get, what, that's basically 12 shards of whichever Dan or Leo Awakening Crystal and a decent amount of dust and crystals. So this is a really good, really good game mode, really good rewards. Uh, they're just trying to incentivize you to go out there and uh, purchase these heroes. Right, but this is the primary, this is new content, this is a new game mode. Uh, I, I gave them credit before, and I'm going to give them credit again. I think this is really nice. I really enjoy this, and I know a lot of people that do actually enjoy this game mode. It is pretty fun. It's a mix between Endless Battles and Twilight, but it's a PvE game mode that is can be done solo, but it does have a leaderboard. So, um, kudos to them. I, I like it. Next piece of new content we're getting this quarter, and the last piece that we're going to be getting this quarter to round out uh, Q1 is Guild vs. Guild. Now, I'm going to briefly talk about guild vs guild later um actually no i'm not i'm not um i was gonna t i'm gonna talk about it in the uh, the hunter video that's tomorrow morning because i have a i just got this inkling in my gut that i want to kind of talk about when it comes to him so that's the big piece of content also the sweep function got added into ancient altar and it does work quite well and i i do enjoy that I can sweep it now because it's just pretty much redundant content at this point. It is so easy to beat it, and I just realized that the freaking Ghost in the Shell music is playing in the background, and that has a uh, a good chance of demonetizing this video. So I gotta fix that. So <laughs> sweep function is in the game. I was just like, what the hell is that f constant freaking like humming in my ear? So if you guys did not know. Um, this is pretty cool. So what you can do, you get five tickets. I can't show you because I already did it. But you can, like, allocate two to hell, allocate two to hard, and allocate, like, one to normal. Would be probably the recommended strategy to get the most limited tickets. Um, you don't really need to do easy and novice. Plus, if easy and novice, if you clear it, you don't get double rewards. You only get double rewards from doing hell, hard, and normal. Now, you're only going to get the, um, the attempt rewards. You will not get your, like, clear rewards that normally get paid out on a Monday. Those still get paid out on Monday. And yes, you will get what you are owed. Um, I did this on both of my accounts, and I did get exactly what I should have gotten. I got my 16 gene hybrid shards at the end, but... This is really, really cool. My only criticism, again, you guys know what I'm going to say, is that we need more levels to Ancient Altar. Make it harder. Make it a lot harder. But then, if we do that, that is basically um, Exotic Expedition, all wrapped up in a nutshell. But we need more, given what we... I'm not going to say we need more limited, although we do need more limited, because this has been the primary source of limited tickets in the game since the game launched. But there are things that are now in-game that were not at launch that uh, necessitate us needing more limited tickets. Mirror of Reformation that comes with each new hero. They're trying to get us to go to 180. Um, giant Tower. Now they're trying to get us to 200. 80 to 200 on every Giant Tower. So that's week in, week out, every week. There's some big banner to pull on. Wish lists, everything. There's, there's so much. And there's so many heroes now that I think that they could... I really do think that they could add another two tiers, give us uh, the next tier up higher than, what is it, Hell? Whatever it is, Purgatory or something. or And then night, they could do just like Purgatory and Nightmare, right? So I think that the next level up higher should still be limited tickets. Um, and then maybe, I don't know, they don't have to put Awakening Crystals in there because I do feel like Exotic Expedition really supplies us with a lot of good, um, Awakening Materials. But then the Hell or Nightmare or whatever, that one's got to give us Astrals because they have to give us, now that there's three SPs in the game, they have to give us ways to get more 
of the other hero, of the other SPs. And, you know, putting Astrals in there, what are we going to do? Are we all going to go for the Vanguard? Well, maybe. And I understand they want the new Vanguard to be paywall exclusive to give the Whales and the Krakens an incentive to spend and get an advantage. But I don't think they're going to hurt us by... Because most of us will have a copy of Artemis. We might have two copies of Caraxia. And as such, we'll probably be more incentivized to go after them and finish them, which you should do. Because it'll be a lot quicker than go for the big bad new shiny. Although I know a lot of people would go for the big bad new shiny. So, but this has to come. This has to come. This is like the people... It, I, I'm not going to talk anymore. We all know the reasons why. I don't have to make the argument for you. But I guess I want to say this for the devs. If you ever do watch this. Which they're on holiday to the 15th. So they probably won't. We need this. We need this now. I'm going to repeat it over and over and over and over again. Until we get it. So, but the sweep function is in the game which saves us a little bit of time and that's the primary content that we got for this week now we did we are into our second week of twilight lands so we're all kind of I, don't judge me this is my streaming account i haven't done it yet but the vast 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 majority of us are done with 15 already now we're just waiting and we all know that saturday at 10 o'clock is going to be the shotgun start so this boss right here that's the queen lady you know that that is an energy boss it's an energy boss, which means that uh, that is going to be stage 16. And then what other new hero came out? What hero came out before? Let's go look. What what, what hero came out before um, take? I'm just pulling up my banner rotation spreadsheet. Amat. Amat came out. Okay. So what that means more than likely is that uh, we're going to have a summoner boss. We're going to have an energy boss. And then we don't know what the next one is. Uh, stay tuned. Usually Gameplay Horizon has his Twilight Lounge video up before it is open to North America. So you guys can pop into my Discord server. Somebody in there will tell you the bosses prior to it launching uh, for us in North America. Which is for me 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning. So you guys can know exactly what teams to bring. But I'm assuming that we know it's going to be an energy team with take. And then it's most likely going to be a summoner team and then X. Probably vanguards because they want you to push to get the new vanguard unit. Or I don't know. But that's just my guess. So that's coming on Saturday. Uh, so we're all just kind of stuck waiting. And that's really everything new that we've gotten in Eternal Evolution for the week of. Up to and including February 7th, 2024. Um, yeah, so, you know, like, I do like the way the game is going, like, this is okay. I don't think a lot of these things in this, this is the monthly pass. I don't think a lot of these things are worth it. Sometimes they have the uh, Chaos Soul Crystal Nucleus Shards in here, but is it worth it? No, I don't think so. I've seen red runes in here, but, like, who in the right mind would pay $2,500 for one of these? I guess if you're a brand new account, you could probably get the elites up really quickly, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because the elites are going to get shuffled out just as fast as, you know, they're going to get it shuffled out quick. So this is just a bait and switch for new accounts. You really don't need something like this. Anything that shows up here, you can still buy. It's not that much bigger of a price, but all of the stuff that show up in the privilege shop, it's, it's for the most part, I haven't seen anything that warrants the, you know, $10 price tag. It is fairly cheap, but it is still 10 bucks. So I did buy the first one. I did buy one. You have to buy the gold pass to get it. I did buy this first one. Now I'm probably not going to buy it again, uh, but I do. I do actually in quite like the weekly pass. Why? Because it gives you a lot of these uh, these soul crystal nucleuses, the generic ones, and then it gives you enough dust. Now it is seven dollars US. You can't see because it's under my noggin, which translates to about ten dollars Canadian for me. So if I buy four of these, that's 40 bucks a month. And that is that is well under my budget for what I want to spend in this game. Given 2024, and I said this in my Discord today, my budget now for EE is roughly at max $200 a month. And I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to probably come in a lot lower than that. Because I don't know what I need to buy. Like this weekly pass is cool. If they have like good events, like... If they bring in a new collab pass with four battle passes, I'll buy the four battle passes. If they, for the Valentine's Day event that's coming up, if they have something 
uh, that you have to buy, I, I'll buy that. And, and actually, now that I'm talking about spending, what I think is probably going to be the most effective use of your money now, and somebody in one of my comment sections laid out the math. So these mysterious gift events like we just had last week, not this week, last the week prior with the presents, right? The same as the Christmas event. That mysterious gift event had Caraxia shards in it at the higher levels. Now I'm assuming, and this is an assumption, so it may be wrong, that if they repeat this event, it's going to have Artemis shards. And he worked out the math for me is that you can get Artemis copies a hell of a lot cheaper than buying Astral cards and pulling on the banner. A hell of a lot cheaper if you actually purchase the uh, the little the little tokens for opening up the gifts. Uh, if you spend hundred bucks and get whatever how many currency you get. Uh, you can get that basically will pretty much ensure that you get a copy of an SP character. You can get high enough. I got up to level seven uh, this last round, and I know people that saved up like they had a bunch of astrals saved up and stuff, which probably po people won't now. But uh, a lot of people were able to get to like nine and ten if they had stuff saved up. You can save up your red runes because that is one of the f uh, factors of giving you currency. But if you were to just spend the big pack to get the big pack, which is about 100 bucks, you can get uh, a fair number amount of shards of an SP hero. And that is probably going to be the easiest and cheapest way for a spender to catch up. We still don't have any other way for a free-to-play to catch up on the SPs. But that is what I'm probably going to do in order to get Artemis up a, a little quicker and to start saving or start using Astral cards on Heimdall, is that if they keep re-bringing that back, and I really do hope they bring it back often, I'd say once a month, please, EE, -E, I will drop some cash on that. So between $40 on the weekly passes and, uh, say, 100 bucks a month on the Mysterious Gift, that's pretty much my budget. Because 100 bucks American, well, that's about 130 135 bucks Canadian. So we're talking about 175 There you go. There's my entertainment budget for the year. So. <coughs> my throat's a burning. So ladies and gentlemen, that's about it. That's all. That is everything that has pretty much uh, come to the game. That is everything going on in the game for the week up to and including February 7th, 2024. Patch is coming out on Thursday. And we all know I'll do another video. As I said at the beginning, I will do a video on the new Hunter. And I will have that set to go live tomorrow at 5 a.m. my time, which is 7 Eastern time, I do believe. So that video will be up tomorrow. Uh, if you want to just get a head start and go learn everything you can about the hero, I know Red Sonya also put up a video covering, uh, was it Vazarin? Vazarin? Vazarin. <coughs> Can't get rid of this tickle. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it uh, to you. Oh, word of the day. <laughs> uh, <coughs> keg keg pardon me I'm having trouble here <coughs> Ugh. Ugh. I don't know what it is weekends coming up and I'm going to go on days off I really don't want to get sick but the word of the day if you made it <laughs> half an hour wow that went by fast um, keg put keg down in the comment section below tell me what you think of the video I'll catch you in the next one ladies and gentlemen until then cheers peace Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.